as we can only expect the intensity to continue to ramp up in game number three. perfectly. Kabarovsk's got to be feeling good about their game tonight. Here they already lead in this one, and they've been dictating the pace of play also. Well, they get the game's first goal midway through the period, James, but I liked their game right from puck drop. I mean, the way that they've started, the urgency around the puck, they pounded it, they've had a heavy forecheck, and now they get rewarded for their efforts. Rush has got the puck against the wall. Takes the feed. Bumped off the puck. Rush is looking to break out. The Admirals cross the blue line and are on the attack. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Well, the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one-goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. The Admirals will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, in a one-goal deficit on the power play now, you have to take advantage. You have to find a way to get the coverage moving and find good scoring opportunities. Here's a pass in front, and that goes off a stick and off target. And he takes the feed. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Well, everyone has a job and a role to do, and guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead. Now they're protecting it. Russia's got a five on three and lots of time on their side. What an opportunity. A long five on three here, and this can turn the momentum, switch the entire game in their favor. They have to find a way to execute. Oh, well, there's going to be a call on that one, James. And another call against the home team and these fans have, I think they've had enough. They've had enough and they're booing at the officials and for the players. This is so frustrating. You try and kind of get the temperature of the way the official's going to call the game and real tough to read when you get three in a row like that. They'll have a lot of time to work with this five on three. With all this time on the five on three, yes, you can be more patient, but you don't want to get lulled to sleep on the outside. You have to move the coverage a little bit outside of the middle of the ice to be able to open up those lanes and execute. Oh, yeah, this PK unit, they're out there for a reason, James. You have to be able to clear the puck, and it's easier said than done, but they make no mistake this time. And a solid stop on the play there. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Kabarov's got possession here in their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Shot! Oh, What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to this team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Well, they have the lead, and now they 
and taken a penalty, so now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play is going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they got to be to task. And with that call, it's a five-on-three power play set to go. With a long five on three, yes, you have more time, and you know that you've worked on this in practice. The coach wants you to be patient with the puck, but they want you to find an opportunity to drive and attack. You have to move it, or you have to fire it. Takes the bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Chance to hit! Scores! His first of the playoffs! And the rookie gets it done! Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. Well, these are the types of goals that are extremely deflating because they are just egregious in nature and can really change the landscape of a game. I mean, the goaltender's scrambling and had no chance on that one. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Takes it at center. Who's hauled down? Penalty on the way. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. When you're the culprit and you're going to the box for the second time in one period, you recognize that you've also compromised your team here. It's a team sport. And, man, they're not happy right now. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Takes the feed. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face off. Penalty has expired. You've got to give the shorthanded unit a lot of credit there. Well, I really like this PK unit, James. Just working in sync, almost as if they're on a pendulum or a string together, knowing exactly what the other is going to do and the reason they're still tied. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. The man has it been effective. And the puck clears the zone. Receives the pass. And he takes the pass. Great save from in tight. Clearing attempt. And they get it out. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And he takes the dish. Takes a shot. And that's blocked from someone in front. Here's the official call. The Admirals are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Four-on-four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. Well, four-on-four is similar to three-on-three. Three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two-on-ones all over. Their man's now out of the box, and they'll take advantage on the power play. Here's a chance! Makes the save with the glove! First. Well, it's all about quick strike, and now they've got the go-ahead. So they know that they can be confident with the puck, but they certainly can sit back and protect it. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. Big hit, and that frees up possession. 
He grabs the puck here at the point. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Here is. Oh, hold on, James. Looks like there's going to be a call right there. Penalty coming up here. Well, that's a tough penalty to take at the end of a period, and it's all about the PK unit now. They've got to kill the time off, get to the intermission where they can reset. As it comes to an end, we've got lots more action. Two more thirds of this one to go. Stay with us. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Rush has won the opening draw, and their power play rolls on. Quick feed to Fior. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Trying to play it off the glass, but that's kept in the zone. Yeah, trying to quickly get it off the glass and down the ice, but unfortunately, it winds up back in their zone, James, and now they're a tired unit, and they got to find a way to retrieve it and get it down again. Works it across to Fior. Kuznetsov stick-handling in his own zone. To his teammate! Here's a shot! Big save by the goaltender watching that one. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason, and this time, he bails his team out. And that goes wide of everything. Man advantage unit comes up empty-handed, and they're still trailing by a goal. Well, they're going to continue to trail here because they weren't able to get the equalizer on the power play. A missed opportunity, and really, timing is everything. So they'll have to figure out a way to dictate pace and get back on the board. Zab Grodny's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. They've got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing the penalty. Kabarovsk's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play in these sequence scores! It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs, and you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Play face off that leads to possession. That is just a dagger. A quick shot and a goal buries it. Kabarovsk's extended the lead to two. Well, James, it's exactly where you want to be. You have a two goal cushion here, but you also know that your opponent's going to start pressing. There's a lot of game left here, and if they get within one, they'll be within striking distance. Great use of the stick here at center ice. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here comes the official's call. You have to constantly remind yourself to move your feet and get closer to the action. You wind up reaching, you take the feet out of your opponent, you wind up with a tripping call. Another chance here on the man advantage. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. Kabarovsk's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Some nice... He tried to go high, but it goes off the crossbar and then off the post. Kabarovsk continuing to push the pace of play in this game. They've been aggressive in the offensive zone. They do have the lead, but they wanted the extra cushion there, but unfortunately went off the post and out. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Kabarovsk's got it in the offensive zone. Just wide. Kabarovsk's got it near the point. Scores! There it is on the power play. The power play has been really efficient tonight, James, and they're really gaining momentum off of it. And often when you're drawing this many penalties, teams start to play different against you. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, 
James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. The Rivermen have been a force offensively tonight. They've been had a lot of jump to their step, James, in particular in the offensive zone. There's been so much motion. It's disrupting coverage, and it's opening up lanes to the net. Rush has got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Here's a short pass to Shemich. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Cross. Let's get the call. Well, the PKers are getting a ton of ice time, but guess what? Your offensive players are not, so you can't generate and produce. they got to figure out a way to stay out of the box. Kabarovsk's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. When the power play is working, James, man, does it feel good. Everything is working. The systems, the coach is happy, the team is happy. Everything is working in their favor. Slick feed. Puts it on net. Kicked away. Nice pad saved by the goaltender. Here he is in front. Scores. And there's another power play goal. Showed them video of how they want it executed and they deliver tonight. This could be a real difficult spot for a goaltender to come into, James. The team is not playing well in front of you. The starter's been chased out of the crease and then you get peppered right away. Real tough. Kabarovsk's been on a roll all night long and they continue to show no signs of slowing down here in period number two. Yeah, they're not taking their foot off the gas pedal here, James. They've been pushing and pressing all game long. And look at the scoreboard. It's the reason why they're ahead. Now a quick pass to Korshkov. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Puck scooped up by Lee. Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Ah, uh, he will, James. In the playoffs, he's just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. You know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still trickles in. Kabarovsk's got more than a few smiles on the bench tonight as they inch closer and closer to the end of the second period. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, it's been a consistent effort right through two periods of play now, James, and they're going to head into this intermission. It could disrupt their rhythm, and they got to make sure they stay focused, they stay intense, and they come ready to start the third the way they started the first and second. Handles the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. It's amazing and an emotional charge and what it can do for your team in particular when someone who scores it does the dirty work. They work hard, they're courageous in their play, and they exhibit the intangible. Rush has been outworked all night long, but they finally got something they can push back with now. Yeah, they've got to continue to push as well if they want to give themselves an opportunity to feel like they can get back in this one. And that's going to start with some hard work, the good old intangibles, and the feeling that they can get back in. And it all starts with execution, though, James. Scores! And they beat the buzzer and get one right here in the period. They always say, James, that to start a period and to finish period, they're critical times, and they get one here. They go to the dressing room with a lot of momentum. Well, good things happen when you put the puck to the net and this rebound comes right back out to him. But he's tracking, he's sniffing, he's hounding, and he finds the back of the net on his second shot. The Admirals finally show some life here, but it's still too much to not enough at this point. Yeah, they've been out-battled, they've been out-scored, and they've just been out-played this whole game, but they've got to use that goal as a positive reset and just look forward. Who's won the draw at center? Here's a chance! There's 
the buzzer. Two periods down, one more to go. They always say three is the magic number. And we've got period number three now. Welcome back. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Been a big night for some fantasy pool who's watching this one. Here we go. Period number three is underway. when the shot came their way. The Rivermen have continued this onslaught here in period number three. They've steamrolled their opponent from start to finish, and they've been consistent right through this third period, James. If they can continue this push, they're going to ride this one home. Handles it along the blue line. He might have a step here. Stones him on the breakaway. Rush has got it behind the net. Kabarovsk's got possession here in their own end. Quick pass to Poole. Turns it away. Scores! And maybe an attempt to try to make it respectable, or is this a comeback here, Cheryl? Well, it certainly makes the deficit look better. And listen, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but that's the starting point. If you want to be able to claw your way back into this one, you got to build off that last shift. Russia's recognized that they're not going to play run time here, so at least try to make it respectable. Respectable, and they can finish with physicality, and that's something that the staff will be telling them. Also look for everyone to be jumping into the attack, trying to get some pressure on their opponent and get some much-needed goals. Korshkov's moving the puck through his own zone. Here they come, down the left side on the attack. Sorry, feed, and that's intercepted. Let's see what the officials are calling. They got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. The frustrating calls, no question about it. But they got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. Although the power play hasn't been great, it has converted. To convert again, they're going to have to find a way to create those openings, get the coverage outside of the dot, and find a way to capitalize. Made the stop on the play. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, this is a constant parade to the penalty box, just showing a ton of frustration throughout this game. To be honest, I'm surprised the coach even put him back out there.